Hi everybody, welcome back to my part two. This is part of my um, perfume collection that I've had for many, 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 many years. And I'm gonna share them with you as I put them away in boxes because I we're moving and I need to put them away. So here we go, we're gonna do this very quickly. Okay, so this one is by, let me see which house, House of Rosasi. House of Rosasi, I really enjoy all their fragrances. This is Derajo, this is another Arabic scent, which I really enjoy. Perfect for winter. I'm gonna tell you when, when they're good for. This is a perfect winter and um, fall scent. Um, as you could tell, I put a pretty good dent on this one. Oh, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, unique scent. Um, I love this. So this one's got to get put away. I can't wait till I can get it back out. The next one is Yves Saint Laurent. This is Mon Paris. Um, this is a common one. This is a replacement because I emptied out a smaller bottle. I used it up during the summer, waited till there was a sale, and I was able to buy the full size Mon Paris on sale so this is my replacement it's a beautiful um, summer and spring floral scent and the next one we're going to talk about is Salvatore Ferragamo um, this is Amo okay this is a beautiful scent um, it has like floral notes a little bit of sweet to it very nice scent I like to mix this with um, my Juicy Couture Mystic Woods uh, this is a beautiful beautiful bottle as you could tell absolutely gorgeous um has this very unique look to it beautiful so i'm going to look forward to using this um this one lends itself nicely going from spring to autumn because it has this sweet scent kind of lighter sweet scent but a floral it does really well during the hot summer days but I think I could get away with using it right now since it's not too cold that I could still try to rock it right now. Because it's, it's just, you know, we're starting to get into the 60s right now, into the 50s. Now this scent I absolutely adore. This is by Giorgio Armani, Terra Dijo. And this one smells so good. Now, I don't know about the rest of the line because they have like three different ones or four different ones. This is the one that I gravitated towards because of the fragrance notes um, but it is a beautiful scent gorgeous bottle it has a very creamy cashmere feel to it um, very cozy scent this is beautiful for right now when you want to have that kind of feeling for the winter and the cold months but this also did pretty good during the summer but I have a feeling that this is going to do even better in the cold winter weather The next one we're going to talk about it is a repurchase. It's still brand new. I got it on sale. It's a smaller bottle. Um, this is on uh, Yves Laurent Libre, and it smells so good. I emptied out my other bottle, so this is my replacement. But it's a beautiful scent. Then I did pick up. This was on sale. I had a sample of this. I fell in love with it. This is Marc Jacobs perfect um but the intense was on sale so i picked up the intense and i am loving the intense scent absolutely beautiful the bottle is amazing as you can tell it is gorgeous it has a lot of unique details to it and the scent is just ah uh, uh, this is another like comforting type of a scent it has like another cashmere creaminess to it um, a very smooth is not a big intense floral nothing like that um, this is going to do great right now for me so I'm looking forward to pulling her back out and being able to wear this because it smells so good oh my gosh Ooh, that's a good one now we're talking about this is by designer this is a knockoff for Herba okay and I've always wanted to try Herba, but Herba costs a couple of hundred dollars, and I wasn't trying to pay a couple of hundred dollars. So I decided to get Essence of Herba. As you can tell, it's an absolutely beautiful, super heavy bottle. I mean, you could hurt somebody with this thing. Then the cap itself has this very unique, almost honeycomb look to it. Now, this scent is very unique. I would not recommend this just for anybody. 
My husband doesn't even like this scent. I like it though, um, because it's just very different. Um, it's even hard to explain. It's a very different, unique type of scent. It's not floral. It's kind of on the spicy side. Uh, maybe a little bit of a tobacco-y scent, but not quite. It's a very unique scent. It's very hard to explain, but I enjoy it. And I'm glad that I picked it up. I think it was under 12 bucks or $15 when I picked it up. So it was a definite deal for me. Sorry, I had to stop the video. My kids were um, arguing with each other over magnets. So here we go. Um, I also picked up um, the Rachel Zoe um, perfume called Empowerment. Now this is, I bought this from Burlington Co. Factory and I'm gonna show you what the bottle looks like. I think this is gonna be one of my donate bottles. I'm donating about five bottles. This will make it six. I am not feeling this scent at all. I'm just, I like it, but it's not anything that is calling out to me. It's nothing um, special, so I'm ready to let it go. I tried it. As you could tell, I put a little dent in there. I tried it time and time again, and I just couldn't wrap my head around this one. I think, I think this is going to be better met or better suited for somebody else, and I'm going to just donate this one. Boom, in the donate pile. Okay. The next one is Coach Dreams Sunset. Absolutely, absolutely adore this set. This does have a line um, with variations of the Coach Dreams. But I am really digging the Coach Sunset. Now, the unique feature about this is you think this is a cap, but no, this is a sprayer. You don't take this off. This is where you spray. And this scent is beautiful. It's a very creamy, floral has a little sweetness to it. Um, I'm going to enjoy wearing this all year round. It's just that kind of scent for me where I can personally enjoy it just all year round. Um, I'm sure it does better during um, the possibly either the heat or the cold winter months. I'm going to figure it out because I started rocking this during the summer. So I want to see how well it performs during the winter. Um, the next one is called Promise Me Flower. And uh, this one is by... Mobasin, and I'm going to show you the bottle very quickly here. This is a definite floral for the summertime. Big time summer, summer, summer fragrance um, right here. I will not be wearing this for any other time except for, for summer. As you can tell, I put a little dent into it because it smells so nice in the heat. Um, total floral scent. Really nice. I, I enjoyed it. I got it on sale. So it was well, well worth that purchase. We're moving on to Promise Jennifer Lopez. Um, this one is also a nice scent, but I'm going to make a decision about this one right now. Okay, it's a beautiful bottle, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful bottle. Gorgeous. But I'm not really feeling this scent. I, it's, I like it. I liked it. But I don't know. It just didn't. I don't know. It just didn't really call out to me that much. I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Normally, with fragrances that I can't wrap my head around it, I usually give it some time. I come back to it, revisit it again, see if I can wrap my head around it. Maybe it's the weather was wrong. It needs to be in a cold weather versus winter. I got it during the summer. I don't know if I should try this during the winter, if maybe that's it, that it needs that cold weather for it to really perform. I am not too sure. I'm not feeling it. I'm going to donate, I'm going to donate um, this one. Jennifer Lopez Promise, I'm going to donate it, pa um, pay it forward, let somebody else enjoy it. There you go. That one's out. I got Black Opium. Um, Yusa Laurent Black Opium. Absolutely love this. I did a video on this um, showing the Black Opium Neon versus the original. This is a smaller bottle. If the big bottle ever comes up on sale, I will buy the Big Daddy because I really like this scent. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a sexy scent. Um, it just makes you feel beautiful. It um, has richness to it would be wonderful during the winter and during the autumn going in from spring autumn winter okay beautiful scent let me try to take the cap off 
Ah, oh, very sexy. Love that scent. That's definitely staying in my collection. All right. The next ones we're going to talk about, let's do Paris Oud. This is by the House of Afnan. This is an Arabic scent, you guys. Um, I love this scent just for the winter and autumn. I can't wear it any other time. Just winter and autumn. It has a beautiful presentation right here, as you could tell. This is a very smoky, tobacco-y type of scent. Um, musky. It has an oody tobacco scent. Smoky. That's, that is what it's all about, and that's it. Nothing else. There's nothing else to it except for that. I absolutely adore this scent. Um, the bottle is beautiful, as you can tell. It's a beautiful bottle. And this one is going to be well-worn. Sorry, I just moved you. Um, this one's going to be well-worn during the cold months because that's when it performs the best. Paris Oud by the House of Afnan. The next one is one of my favorites as well. This is Al Haramain. This is another Arabic scent. This is Amber Oud. Um, this is gold edition. I want to get the red edition, but the red edition says male, but everybody rocks the red edition as well. They feel it's more like uni unisex um, scent. Beautiful bottle, as you can see. It is this gorgeous gold, very heavy. Um, again, this is a very smoky, tobacco-y scent. Um, that is what it's all about, and I absolutely adore it. Uh, that's all there is. It's just smoky, oud, tobacco scent. Love it because I'm into those type of things and I really enjoy it. Beautiful scent by Amber Oud if you're into that tobacco, you know, that type of scent, which I am. Okay, then we have Far Away by Amalfi. This is a Avon fragrance. I am an Avon representative, if you guys didn't know. So I do rock those fragrances. Um, I bought this one, Amalfi, and I really, really like it. It has this gorgeous bottle. Let me. This has a beautiful creaminess to it. Um, cashmere, creamy, milky type of um, smooth uh, fragrance to it, which I am really, really digging. So Amalfi is a really good one to get, at least for me. That's my style. I love that, and this is absolutely gorgeous. So that is definitely staying in my collection. That's that's going to stay. Because as I go through these, I'm deciding things I want to keep and things that I'm ready to let go that are just not, you know, working with me. Then I recently got The Obsession by Calvin Klein. This is an old school scent. Very sexy, um, spicy, amber type of a scent. It's been around forever. You can't go wrong with Obsession. If you want something, this smells like amber, spicy, and sexy. There you go. Love it. So I got a small bottle of it. It was on sale, and it's going to do great during the winter months. I know that's a signature scent for many people. Now we're going to be going into the house that's called Nostalgia Perfumery. I'm going to go through these fragrances with you because I'm going to make some decisions about the ones that I want to keep versus the ones I want to give away. But before that, we're going to talk about um, Janine Arths, and this is Generation Love Rock. Okay, I picked this up when it was on sale, and um, this is what the bottle looks like. All right. Beautiful bottle, very unique, very different. And this is a very nice scent. I really like this one. This one I'm definitely keeping. This is amazing during the summer. Um, it has a beautiful floral. It has a beautiful floral scent to it, but not a hard floral, which I don't like. And then it has the little musks and the amber behind it, which I'm really digging. But it's a very nice scent for the summer and for spring. So this is definitely going to stay in my collection. Now let's take a um, short deep dive into the Nostalgia Perfumery. I also see I have Sierra back here. But I'm going to pull this up a little bit so I can reach my Sierra. This is an old school scent by Revlon, Sierra. Um, this is a very nice scent. You can smell the orange blossom in there. Um, this is a great scent year-round. 
I mean, oh my gosh. Okay. This scent will last you a very long time. If you're looking for an economical scent that's going to last a long time, Sierra would do that. It's a very strong perfume, very strong. So not everybody is gonna like this. It's very unique as well, but I like it personally. So she's gonna stay in my collection. She's gonna stay in my collection. Now let's go into this Nastasha Perfumery. They have a website, you will see, they have a website. I picked up all of these, plus a couple of more. Um, they're up there. Um, for just a couple of dollars, they're on clearance at Walmart. And I've seen them online. I've seen some people talk about them, but I wasn't gonna pay 20 bucks for these. But for two and three dollars, sure, I took the deep dive. But I'm gonna make some decisions about which ones I wanna keep. So this is Day Trip. This is Day Trip. Now, as you can tell, let me pull this down a little bit. So as you can tell, um, it has a beautiful purple bottle, Day Trip. Yes do a little scent here now I'm not really feeling day trip I'm not feeling day trip at all um, it's not my style so I am ready to let day trip go this is gonna get boom that's also gonna go on donate let's look at West Coast by nostalgia beautiful turquoise bottle Honey, you're making a lot of noise. My husband is packing stuff up. He's putting some of his perfumes inside bags. And when you think of the word West Coast, you would think something aquatic. And I, it does have a tinge of, it has a tinge of aquatic, but it has a very deep herbally scent to it, like a lot of herb. I'm not too sure why. So I'm not really feeling the West Coast as well so we're going to donate this as well all right then out till dawn out till dawn beautiful slate blue bottle really pretty now this one this one has again a musk but it has a lot of herb to it and i don't like the herb scent that they're using in there i just don't like it i really and truly don't like it i'm gonna let that one go as well so guys i'm sorry that the video cut short um something happened to to it i'm not too sure what i will continue on with my process of um doing part two which i'm going to actually release first because part one something happened to that one too but i hope you guys enjoyed so far and then i'm going to continue to share my collection with you thanks